بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته How are you my students? I hope that you're happy and healthy and ready for today's lesson which will be unit 2 listen and discuss of course today we will be beginning unit 2 inshallah so this is the goals or the objectives of this uh, unit the vocabulary section you'll learn about crime and punishment the functions discuss crime and punishment read and discuss newspaper articles explain steps in uh, process the grammar will be taking the passive passive perfect and uh, the past perfect and the progressive while the listening part we will listen for specific details uh, and pronunciation linking uh, the the linking uh, the consonant sounds uh, reading will be reading about crime puzzles if you know what's a puzzle it's like a game where you play with words uh, writing write a story for a newspaper the four meaning function we will be learning about simple past used to and would Th this is today's objectives objectives for today's lesson find the crime and its punishment in a newspaper match the headline with the article find the most foolish criminal do you know what's the meaning of the word foolish yes it's almost a synonym for the word stupid the most foolish criminal F uh, match words with their meanings answer true or false about crimes information practice the verb collocations with crime vocabulary so you know now the that the theme of this unit is talking about crime and punishment so this is today's lesson listen and discuss here's a warm-up question what kind of crimes are uh, are common in your community have you seen recent crimes in the news what kinds of crimes are common in our community of course thanks to allah the crimes level here are very extremely low so but what kind of crimes have you ever uh, ever been a witness in a crime maybe someone stole a store or someone stole a car or uh, a house so what kinds of crimes are common in your community have you seen recent crimes in, in the news on the social media while you're reading in the news have you uh, have your eyes read uh, maybe a recent crime happened here or there not specifically in your city but about the whole world have you ever read about a crime of course you did here are some helping words regarding crimes the word steal to steal something to take something from someone without them knowing hijack hijack to take to take a moving vehicle a car or a plane hijack is to take a moving vehicle robber and burglar are almost the same they uh, the burglar is someone who steals from houses it's almost the same also as thief and the word theft here are some words related to law and enforcement word related to law and enforcement of course you know what's the meaning of the word law law the order that you live by law this is uh, okay to do this is not okay to do for example stealing is of course against the law taking someone from uh, something from someone without them knowing this is against the law and you will be punished if you do it police of course police are uh, the, the repre representative of the law prison or jail once you uh, break the law of course they take you and put you behind bars behind bars in prison in a prison or jail and sentence sentence the time that you will be spending in prison or in jail so discuss uh, one or two famous crimes who was involved what happened where and when did it happen if you read about a crime if it's a famous uh, crime one or two uh, famous crimes who was involved who are the parts of this uh, crime who is the, vict the victim uh, and who is the bad man uh, what happened where and when did it happen the second question read the newspaper headlines we'll be reading them now uh, then uh, read the newspaper articles about foolish crimes we'll be reading about foolish crimes the people who committed the crimes 
are foolish, stupid. Which headline matches with the article? We'll be matching the headlines with the article, so pay attention. Number three, discuss the articles. Which criminal do you think is the most foolish? After reading them, I will be asking, asking you this question again. Which criminal do you think is the most foolish and why? So these are the headlines. We have A, B, C, D, E, F. We have six headlines. The headline A, British burglar says sorry with flowers. British burglar says uh, sorry with flowers. The second headline, killer sentenced to die for a second time. Killer sentenced to die, the death punishment, for a second time. C, credit card thief signs on name. Credit card thief, the person who stole the thief is the person who stole something. Credit card thief signs his own name. D, D, the impatient inmate. The impatient inmate. What's the meaning of the word impatient? Impatient. Very good. It means that he's not patient. He wants to do everything uh, very fast, very quickly. So, uh, the impatient inmate. Of course, inmate is the same as prisoner. Impatient. Paper boy steals truck to speed up deliveries. Paper boy steals truck to speed up deliveries. He wants to deliver uh, the papers very fast, so he stole uh, a truck. The last one, criminals with big plans, small car. The last one indicates criminal with big plans. They have huge plans, but they acted on a small car. So these are the headlines. We'll be reading the articles. I want you to match each headline with the correct article. So this is the first article, Grayson, California, USA. Let's listen for now. Grayson, California, USA, an inmate who was just a day away from being released from jail fled the county prison on Thursday, according to the Grayson Sheriff's Department. When Bob Newton, 32, saw a gate that had been opened for a truck, he couldn't resist the opportunity to escape. Deputy Roy Jinder Singh saw Newton run through the gate and disappear into a cornfield. Newton is being pursued by a canine unit, a helicopter, police deputies, and the California Highway Patrol. Newton had been serving a five-day sentence for a misdemeanor reckless driving charge. When caught, Newton could now face up to a year in state prison. So this is the first article in California, USA, an inmate who was just a day away from, uh, from being released from jail. He's just one day far from being released and he attempted to escape. Is he patient or not? So jumping to the next article, you can see the small car here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Let's listen. Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, Malaysian police reported on Tuesday that two armed robbers stole a car, then hijacked a security van with $1.3 million inside. However, the robbers encountered a problem when they tried to transfer the money to their getaway car. The car the robbers had stolen was a compact car. It was so small that it could not carry all of the cash, and the robbers were forced to abandon more than half of it. So the story here tells us about robbers who stole $1.3 million and they try to get away in their getaway car, a, try, a, a car that they're trying to escape in. But what's the problem with the car? That it was a compact car, as in the picture. It was very small, so they had to, they couldn't take all the money with them. They had to take just a part of the money. Just half of it. Jumping to the next article. Rosario, Argentina. Rosario, Argentina, Argentine police didn't have much of a challenge finding a man accused of using a stolen credit card. The man used the credit card, 
then signed his own name on the receipts. The credit card was reported stolen from an unlocked apartment last month. According to the police, Alfredo Ramirez, 21, had used the credit card to buy a cappuccino at a coffee house and to buy milk and cereal at a grocery store. The next time he tried to use the stolen card, it was declined and seized. Ramirez has been charged with three counts of unauthorized use of a credit card. So this is a story in Argentina about a boy named Ramirez, Alfredo Ramirez. He stole a credit card, but, but once he wants to sign the receipts, he signed his own name. He signed his own name. Of course, the credit card isn't by his name because he stole it. So this is how the police caught him. Of course, the last time he tried, the card was declined. What's the meaning of declined? Yes, it's off use. It's off use. It's, it's uh, declined. So, again, read the newspaper headlines, then read the newspaper articles. We've read the headlines and we've read the articles. Then read the newspaper articles about foolish crimes. Of course, all these crimes were foolish. All these crimes were foolish. The first one who tried to escape just one day before his release. The second one was about who, uh, people who stole lots of money but with a small car. And the third one with the uh, Ramirez, he signed his own name on receipts using a stolen card. All of them were foolish. Which headline matches which article? Again, these are the headlines. British Burger says sorry with flowers. The second one, killer sentence to die for a second time. Credit card thief signs own name. The impatient inmate, paperboy steals truck to speed up deliveries, and the last one, criminals with big plans, small car. So this is the first article. This is the first article from Grayson, California, an inmate who was just one day away from being released. Then once he saw the gate open, he tried to escape. Of course, they caught him. So which Headline fits this article. Yes, very good. The impatient inmate. If he was patient and waited just for one day, he would be released. The second article about the uh, Malaysian uh, crime here, the uh, people who hijacked a security van with $1.3 million dollars inside of course that's a huge amount of money a big pile of uh, money and they must have a big car but no they didn't they had a small car that's why they had to uh, take just half of it and throw the half away so which headline fits this article they had small car yes that's correct criminals with big plans they had big plans. They stole, they hijacked a security van. So this is not an easy task, but they had a small car. So we can't decide if they are foolish or they are smart. The third article from Argentina, the boy who stole a credit card, but once he wants to sign the receipts, he signs his own name, which Headline fits this article. It's very obvious, of course. Very good. Credit card thief signs own name. Signs with a pen, of course. Signs his own name. So where does the story take place? Here are some questions. Where does the story take place? How did uh, Newton escape? What was Newton's crime? How long was his, uh, was his sentence? How long might Newton be in prison when they catch him? All of these questions are about the first article, the first article in Grayson, California. Let's listen to it and try to find the answers. Grayson, California, USA, an inmate who was just a day away from being released from jail fled the county prison on Thursday, according to the Grayson Sheriff's Department. When Bob Newton, 32, saw a gate that had been opened for a truck, 
he couldn't resist the opportunity to escape. Deputy Roy Jinder Singh saw Newton run through the gate and disappear into a cornfield. Newton is being pursued by a canine unit, a helicopter, police deputies, and the California Highway Patrol. Newton had been serving a five-day sentence for a misdemeanor reckless driving charge. When caught, Newton could now face up to a year in state prison. When caught, Newton could face a whole year in prison. So this is ironic if he just waited for one day. Now he has to wait for a minimum of a year. So let's answer the questions here. Where does the story take place? Yes, in California. How did Newton escape? How did he escape? Very good. He went through the open gate. He saw the uh, gate is open for a truck coming inside and he ran. What was Newton's crime? What was his crime? Yes, reckless driving. Reckless driving. It's a misdemeanor. Misdemeanor, it's like a small crime. Uh, how long was his sentence? How long was his sentence? Five days. Just five days. How long might Newton be in prison? Now, when they catch him. He was sentenced the first time just for five days, for just driving recklessly. And in the last day, in the fifth day, he tried to escape. So now, how long might Newton be in prison? Now that they caught him? Yes maybe a year. The second uh, questions here about the second uh, paragraph or the second article. What did the robbers do? What kind of car did they steal for the getaway car? What problem did they have? So let's listen again to uh, this article and try to answer these questions. Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Malaysian police reported on Tuesday that two armed robbers stole a car, then hijacked a security van with $1.3 million inside. However, the robbers encountered a problem when they tried to transfer the money to their getaway car. The car the robbers had stolen was a compact car. It was so small that it could not carry all of the cash, and the robbers were forced to abandon more than half of it. So, the first question, what did the robbers do? The robbers, what did they do? Yes, you can read it in the article. They stole a security van with $1.3 million in it. They stole a security van. They hijacked a security van with $1.3 million in it. Second question, what kind of car did they steal for the getaway car? for the getaway car, the car they're trying to escape in. What kind of car did they steal for this part? Yes, a small compact car. Maybe if they stole a, a sports car, so can they move quickly? No, they stole a small compact car, which, is, which was foolish, a foolish choice. The third one, what problem did they have? What was the problem here? What problem did they have? Excellent. There wasn't enough room in the small car for all the money they had stolen. There is not enough room. There's no space. There's no room for the money. So they throw some of the money, actually half of the money away just to try to escape. So they didn't think for the whole plan. They didn't think which was foolish of them. Another question here for the last article. What did the criminal steal? What mistake did he make when he used the credit card? Did he buy expensive things with the card? Let's see. Let's listen and then answer. Rosario, Argentina, Argentine police didn't have much of a challenge finding a man accused of using a stolen credit card. The man used the credit card, then signed his own name on the receipts. The credit card was reported stolen from an unlocked apartment last month. According to the police, Alfredo Ramirez, 21, had used the credit card to buy a cappuccino at a coffee house and to buy milk and cereal at a grocery store. 
The next time he tried to use the stolen card, it was declined and seized. Ramirez has been charged with three counts of unauthorized use of a credit card. So let's answer the questions. What did the criminal steal? Yes, it's very easy. He stole a credit card. What mistake did he make when he used the credit card? He made a big mistake, which, which is the reason how they caught him. So what, uh, what's the mistake here? He signed his own name, not the name on the card, because the name on the card, is it's, it's the owner's name, it's different from his name. So he signed his name while the card was in a different name. Again, he signed his own name, not the name on the card. Third question, did he buy expensive things with the card? Once he stole the card, did he buy expensive things? No, he bought coffee milk and cereal, actually cappuccino, milk and cereal. So he didn't buy any uh, expensive uh, things. He just bought regular things. So which criminal you think is the most foolish and why? So here we can listen to different opinions. Is he the person who just went away from, uh, uh, from being released from prison and then he tried to escape? Is it uh, uh, the crime in Malaysia where the uh, robbers used a small compact car or is it the last one who signed a different name? Of course to me the most foolish one is the first one who, who was impatient if he just waited for 24 hours he would be released now he's facing maybe a year a whole year in prison Here's the quick check vocabulary, match the words with their meanings. We have decline, unauthorized, abandon, inmate, misdemeanor, and the word hijack. And we have to match them with without permission, to leave or give up something, to refuse a minor crime, to take control of a moving vehicle by force, by force, or a prisoner. So the first one, number one, very good, decline. Decline is the letter C to refuse. He wants to use the car, uh, the card. It was declined. Unauthorized. Number two, very good. The letter A, without permission. Unauthorized, without permission. Abandon. You know the word abandon with B to leave or give up something. To leave something is to abandon it. Inmate. Very good. It's the same as prisoner. Misdemeanor, I just explained the word misdemeanor, if you remember, very good. Misdemeanor with the letter D, a minor crime, a small crime, just like he, he had, driving recklessly. And the last one, hijack, as I told you before, to take control of a moving vehicle by force, using force. The second part of the quick check is a true or false. Let's see the first one. Credit card thief signs his own name. The article talks about a prisoner breaking out of prison. Of course, this one is false. The second one, credit card thief signs own name, reports the story of a credit card theft. Yes, from the article itself, this is true. Number three, criminals with big plans, small car is about hijacking and a robbery. Yes, they hi hijacked the security van and they robbed the bank. Number four, criminals with big plans, small car, tells the story of robbers who did not prepare well for the crime. Yes, very good, this is true. They didn't prepare well. How? They, the getaway car was very small, it was a compact car. The last one, the impatient inmate reports on a robbery. No, false, it reports about someone who tried to escape from prison. And with that, we reach the end of the lesson. Thank you for listening. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Ashadu ala ilaha anta astaghfirku wa atubu ilaik. Assalamu alaikum.